Hello to you and welcome back to the channel. We're here early. It's Wednesday. Yes, it's monthly movie tribute. A bonus one, by the way. Yes, MMT officially did end last week with the original Piranha, but I decided to do a bonus one and we are here to do a reaction to 1980s Alligator. I don't know why when I was watching Piranha 3D, this movie vaguely popped up in my mind. I have watched it once before when I was younger. It lives 50 feet beneath the streets. It's 36 feet long. ago that I can't remember if I liked it or not if it's good or bad but we're about to find out today so join along as we watch this movie on Amazon Prime if you have a subscription you can join along um, from what I did read on this movie it is inspired by Jaws uh, the whole larger than usual creature feature this also started a myth that um, began in the 60s about alligators living in sewers so we're gonna talk about that later on along with some trivia of behind the scenes of alligator so we're gonna press play now if you want to hang out come join us this man does look does not look like he's trained to be around alligators oh Look at that. They could do without the big blood. Oh, this is a show. This man's getting eight like a chicken wing at Popeyes right now. Wait, did the announcer say don't worry about it? And this man ankle missing. What? Wait, is there not even? There's not even a fence separating the audience from the alligators? Was this real in the, in the 80s? What? She gonna give it to a zoo. Now, this is before my time. I was not thought of in 1980, okay? But if anybody was uh, old enough to remember around that time, was they really selling? Baby alligators to the public? 
please drop down in my comments and answer that question. There's alligator turds in the clothes hamper. What the hell does alligator turds look like? What? Oh, so the dad flushed it. Way to go, dad. All right, guys, sorry. 12 years later. I think we got it. I got it. Oh my God! The alligators right, right behind like, them. Just keep going down this direction. You ought to get some kind of an outlet. Get your own for dinner. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm sure you're you're walking in a sewer, bro. Shit, man! Now it's chasing them. That's a fast alligator. And they don't know which way to go to get out of there. Oh, he found the ladder. Go, go, go. Climb, climb, climb. your best bud gone dude damn that sucks they all gonna get ate up oh you're the kid who brought Ramon home Yeah, look at that Crackle Barrel breakfast walking through the sewers. Ready to get ate up by Ramon. I know Ramon is one happy ass alligator. He been living down there for 12 years, probably snacking on rats and whatever else he can find. He's just started eating on sewer workers. And, and now he got a whole, what, group of armed crazy men who swear they can just they're trying to flush this alligator out to go out as if it won't attack them. I know he like, yeah. I know he got a toothpick sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> Woo, McDonald's ain't got nothing on this meal. Wait, the ground making all that noise and them kids just standing there like that? Oh, they supposed to... Now you know this ain't real life. They gonna hide behind the car. I know this is 1980, but they were supposed to be gone in the wind. Only two kids ran. Oh, that's not the. Ooh. Y'all should have been ran. Talking about let's get out of here. Oh no, oh no, the police officer crashed and died. So he didn't even get ate up by the alligator. Oh, I take that back. It looks like he is. I just realized we've been, we've watched like almost 20 minutes of the movie. What happened to the alligator? He busted out of the sewer and he hiding? And like killed that, killed that guy in the alleyway, but that's about it. No, not the kid. No. <gasps> oh, I don't think I can finish watching this. Oh, my God. So, in the 80s, you just go to strangers' houses and take showers and put their clothes on? You guys know the neighborhood. Every expedition needs 
Oh, that's scary. This wedding is going to be the talk of the town. Gator objects to the matrimony. <laughs> but I do find it quite amusing that this wedding is held by the very people that actually aided in the mutation of this gator. Like, go figure. Are those weed plants? What is going on in this man's backyard? Nobody hears this mammoth of a beast stomping through their backyard. Even the poor... What? Oh, now they see it. Is the poodle gonna get a... I'm pretty sure the dog is gonna be the only one that's smart enough to live. Oh, damn. Sir, what is that 38 gonna do? You need a bazooka for this thing. Oh, oh, it's using its tail? Oh, oh. It don't like the food. It's tossing all the tables. It says your food sucks. Your hors d'oeuvres are nasty. And I don't like the music. Why did he look bad? Why didn't he just get in the car? That old man locked him out of the car? What a piece of shit. Ew. Oh my god, he is eating up on these. Why is he attacking the service? Now, I don't like... Who wrote this part? Who wrote... This gator is a little bit... Uh, has discrimination problems. He is just eating the staff. He ain't ate nobody else. Oh, well, he ate him. It's destroying the car. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he crushed them in the car. What is going on? Does he have a memory for them? That was personal. Oh god. Oh, look at the car. Oh my god, look at that car. Uh-uh, that alligator knew that man was in that car. Mm-mm. He said, this for my mama, this one for my daddy, this one for all my gator homies. He did. He... Lincoln? I mean, goodness gracious. He demolished the, the gator, demolished the car. Roman, Roman hates Lincoln. It is a lot of inconsistencies in this movie, but I guess it has to be for an 80s movie. Because at one part, the gator, like, is moving fast, and then now, at the end, it's moving all slow. Is he full because he had the KFC family meal at the wedding? Now, why didn't Madison think of all this before all those people got, all those men sacrificed their lives trying to flush out the gator? That's that same grate that you got stuck. Remember? Well, that lady can't hear you. Oh. Did the alligator have to scream like that? Like it was going through a possession. Rawr! Did y'all hear that? I don't think alligators scream like that. Well, that was a fun watch, except the part for the kid. I did not enjoy that at all. Let's talk about the myth of it all that kind of uh, partially inspired this movie. First of all, at one point, I guess in history, from what I've researched back in the early 1900s, yes, people used to keep, you know, baby alligators or mid-sized alligators. Of these, out these alligators, and when they did grow to be too long, they did release them, but not in the sewers, so to speak. There have been a handful of rescued 
or uh, already deceased alligators found in the sewers of New York City at one point. But um, from what I read and saw, anything past like the 40s, there was nothing recorded or no story ever mentioned about alligators living in sewers. You even had as early as 1982, after the success of this movie, Alligator, uh, the sewer superintendent or whatever you want to call it in New York City, that they've seen quite a few things in their sewers beneath the city, like dead fish, insects, rats, of course. They've even seen clubhouses made where people have lived in the sewers, but they have never, ever seen an alligator. Even an albino alligator. No reports of no such creature ever found in the sewers, um, which is great. They do have a nonprofit rescue, which most cities do that do go out to help rescue and relocate alligators that they find or any type of reptile life they find near residential areas that may live in like a lake or some type of canal way. But as far as an actual alligator living in sewers or any city sewer worker carrying a pistol to, you know, because of they may be afraid an alligator is going to come out it's only a, it's only a story according to what I researched nothing that I found true this movie didn't do so bad when it was released and it was quite enjoyable as I mentioned to watch um, the you know this movie was inspired by Jaws and uh, like others like Orca Piranha Grizzly all of those you know mad animal reptile creature type of films have all gotten their blueprint from Jaws. So, um, the trivia on this movie is just mostly centered around nods, you know, certain like uh, complimentary nods that they give in the background of the movies, uh, as well as, uh, of course, the comparison to Jaws. Uh, Brian Cranston worked on this film as a production assistant for special effects. That's the guy from Breaking Bad. Also, an alligator can't survive in Chicago because the climate is too cold. They say this is why you don't see alligators north of North Carolina. Also, a little fun fact, Joe Dante that worked on Piranha uh, turned down this opportunity to direct this movie. He was offered it. Also, uh, they say it's a revealing mistake around the 30 minute mark where they're in a car, Madison and the Chief, and you see a fly. So it clearly proves that the car is not moving and that the background passing by is fake. If you see that fly, you got great eyes because I did not notice that. Okay, folks, that's it for Alligator. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this month in April for our monthly movie tribute of Spring Break in Nature. So, um, we'll be back. We're going to take off next week. We'll be back. And when we be back, you prize. We have new looks, new commentary coming up. And it's my birthday month next month. So I can't wait. But you will see me this weekend for movie night. So until then, I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your week. Happy Wednesday to you all. Before you leave, if you've made it this far, you are the best. Thank you so much for your support. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget. Do it now so you won't forget, okay? Also, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next reaction. This was so much fun, you guys. I'll see